Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm practicing shooting some unconventional uh, shooting positions today. Basically, I'm going to be shooting from the uh, from the underside of a car, and I'm using the wheel axle for cover. So I got my two rims on the ground, the table on top. So that represents a car. Okay, so I want to use that wheel axle for cover. The other drill I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using that wall over there. I'm going to be shooting from behind the wall. Uh, if you notice, I got some chairs behind it, and those chairs are going to prevent me from basically backing up and bringing, my, bringing the gun up. Uh, so what that means is that I'm going to have to bring the stock over my shoulder, punch out, and get my red dot on the target, okay? Uh, so that's, that's what we're practicing today. Now, one of the things that we want to be very aware of as we're doing this, uh, we want to we wanna basically practice our safety manipulation so the gun only comes off safe when we're actually shooting. Now, when we're standing straight up, you know, basically we have a good sense of where, you know, fire is and when safe is. What happens is when we're laying on the ground in these awkward positions, a lot of times we, we lose orientation of which, is, which position is safe and which position is fire. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you definitely need to practice this drill. Another thing to be aware of, aware of is as you're practicing shooting from behind the wheel, uh, watch your feet. Okay, because remember you got that, you know, you got that three inches of clearance. Uh, you want to basically get the gun out past the rim, and you want to make sure that your feet are tucked enough far back in so that you don't shoot your toes off. Okay, so let's practice this drill. Okay, so that's our drill. A couple of uh, real life situations I, I, I encountered with the snow on the ground and everything. And the ice, it's actually the ice. Uh, there was some gravel that actually got stuck on my hands as I got into position. So when I went to grip the gun, I had gravel stuck on my glove uh, and I had to clear that. So that's a realistic type of situation uh, that you're going to encounter. And basically, you have to you know, practice working through that. Another situation that I had working with the you know working behind that wall over there close normally you know when, when if the gun's over here right and if you have plenty of room to work you're on this side when you switch to this side you get your arm out of swing you come up and you fire what happened was because i was so close to the wall i got hung up a little bit on my sling right because i needed to bring the you know i needed to to bring the the, the gun over my shoulder in order to bring it out and when you when you're working that close um, the sling can also get in your way a little bit. So that's just something that you need to practice working through. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, the sling sometimes will just get in the way. I mean, there's some things that, you know, I mean, it's just there, it moves around. Um, but you just got to get used to this idea of when it does happen, you know, get yourself untangled and just keep working. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.